What's up, you guys? I'm back today with another video. We trust the minds when they're telling us. Can you see what I'm not saying through my eyes? All I know is love. So, you guys, today I'm showing you how to make my shrimp rasta pasta. Y'all, every time I make this dish, when I show it, like when I'm doing catering and stuff, you guys always ask me how to make it. I have been yet to do the video, but today is the day. I'm about to show you how I put together my Rasta Pasta. It's a bomb recipe, super easy, but it's really, 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 really good. So if you want to see how I make my Rasta Pasta, stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how I make my Rasta Pasta. Okay, highly requested video. Um, today, I'm going to be making it with shrimp. All right, I got some beautiful jumbo shrimp right here. You guys, look at how big and pretty these are. Y'all see that? Hold on. Now, let me wash my hands real quick. This is about a pound right here. I'm not making a super huge portion because it's only me that's going to be eating this. So I'm just going to make enough for me to have some now and maybe some later. So you can, of course, always double, triple, quadruple my recipe. All right. But let me pretty much show you the base of how I put it together. All right. So you're going to need a sweet onion. Of course, you got to have the Rasta colors in your pepper. So I got a yellow, green, and red sweet pepper. You're going to need some coconut milk. Um, real Rasta pasta to me has to have coconut milk in it. I know a lot of people make it without it, but I feel like it just adds something to it. So mine has coconut milk. You're going to need some thyme. I have a couple stalks of scallion right here. You're going to need some olive oil. I have some half and half. I have some three cheese cheddar cheese. I have some Walker's Wood jerk seasoning. This is the wet jerk rub. Um, I think this one is the best. I think this one tastes better than Grace or Sunshine. So this is the one I use. Um, this is the mild one. Of course, this is still a little bit spicy, okay? Just because it says mild doesn't mean it doesn't have any pepper in it because it is a little spicy. So you need some wet jerk seasoning and you need some dry jerk seasoning. I'm using this Caribbean Rhythms right here. Um, dry jerk seasoning. You're going to need some of that. For the pasta, we're going to be using penne, of course. All right, so I have some penne there. Um, we're going to be using some of my seasoning blend. Of course, as always, a link is always in the in my bio, in my description bar, where you can get my seasoning, okay? Um, if you don't have my seasoning and you're lacking, you can always use some adobo with pepper but of course as you can see my seasoning is super complex i actually had the chance to go <laughs> make me another bottle because i have gone through so many bottles of this seasoning this is the only one that i use in my kitchen pretty much um besides like regular salt and pepper or whatever right so this is really bomb link in the description box go check it out all right and what else do you need and you're gonna need a little Parmesan cheese, all right? Oh, and you're gonna need some minced garlic. I don't know what I thought I was about to cook without some garlic, honey. Y'all knew it was coming. Come on now. Y'all knew it was coming. Of course, we need some garlic. Okay, y'all, so first step, let's prep this shrimp and get this shrimp marinated. So I have my clean, raw jumbo shrimp right here. I washed it off in some nice cold water. What I'm gonna do now is drizzle it with a little olive oil not a lot just a little bit next i'm gonna add in a teaspoon of minced garlic a little bit of my seasoning a little dry jerk seasoning not too heavy because you don't want it to be well i don't want mine to be super spicy if you do you can add more okay you can even take a scotch bonnet pepper and chop it up in this but this right here is good for me now that's all I'm going to be using for my shrimp marinade because shrimp, for some reason, whatever you marinate with, it permeates it really fast, okay? So you don't really need to marinate this long at all, and you really don't need a lot of seasoning like that at all. This right here should be perfect because, of course, our sauce is going to be flavored, our noodles is going to be seasoned, 
So this right here is perfect. All right. How beautiful does that look? All right, so I'm about to marinate this for like 10, 15 minutes, all right? Not too, too long because it could get mushy. So I'm going to marinate this for a little bit. All right, y'all, so I have the shrimp marinating. I'm going to go ahead and cut up some of these veggies. I may not use the whole veggies, so I have a bunch of Ziploc bags here to put the rest in. As a matter of fact, like I know I'm not going to use them all. So waste not, won't not. You feel me? Be sure to save a little bit of your green onion for garnish once the rasta pasta is done. You know, gotta make sure our plate looks pretty. Alright, so that's our two stalks of scallion. Yeah, I'm sorry if you see a gnat fly through here or something. I had some bananas that had, um turned on me and i've tried everything to get these gnats out of here you know the fruit flies so if you see a couple it's not because my kitchen is dirty because of course you already know how i do it's from the bananas i had so we're going to pretty much julienne these peppers you don't want chunks you want strips This was a small red bell pepper. I might use this whole red bell pepper though. It was little. Gonna do a little bit more of this. What's your favorite bell pepper? I think mine is yellow. And you know what I learned? For some reason, I thought yellow, red, green bell peppers were different, but they're actually just different stages of ripeness, all the same pepper. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. sweet onion I'm definitely not going to use all of this it's a lot I do have more things to cook so these will definitely get used Now let's go head over to the stove. Guys, okay, so I have my pan heating up right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little olive oil, heat that up. Now I'm gonna add in our sliced up veggies. Remember to save a little bit of the scallions for your um, presentation. Now I'm gonna season these veggies with a little bit of my seasoning. Here it is, you guys, of course. Like I always say, link in bio, okay? Not a lot, just a little. And a little bit of the jerk seasoning. Not too much. I don't want mine super spicy, okay? Now we're just going to cook this down some. But you don't want it super soft and soggy, okay? You still want a little bite to it. 
So uh, don't cook it too, too much. All right, so I'm going to move these veggies to the side while they're still super hard. And we're gonna start cooking our shrimp. We're gonna cook the shrimp separate from the sauce because you know, shrimp cooks really fast. So we're gonna cook the shrimp, then take it off the fire, make the sauce. I got the water for the pasta going. And then we just gonna put it all together, okay? Bomb dish, easy to put together if you just, you know, follow the steps, okay? Right now, I have my stove on medium. It's not super duper hot at all. Okay, you still don't wanna overcook your veggies. You don't wanna overcook your shrimp. Just want it all to come together nicely. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is smelling so good. Ooh, look at that shrimp. Bomb. Okay. Mmm. flip all these the shrimp is going to be done before these veggies so I'm going to finish that give the shrimp the uh, veggies another good saute and then uh, take it off the fire then it'll be time for us to uh, make the sauce this smells so good mm. Nice, big, pretty shrimp. All right, you guys, so this is done. I don't want the veggies to be mushy, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off the fire. Now let's put the sauce together. All right, so I have my pan heating up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon and a half of butter. Next, I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of minced garlic a few sprigs of thyme, a tablespoon of the Walker's Wood Mild Jerk Seasoning, that right there is perfect, so I'm mix this up, wow that smells good, yeah I'm sorry if you hear something, I am washing clothes too, so you know, work is, I'm always doing something. Wow, that smells so bomb. Next, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of the coconut milk. One cup of the half and half. This smells so good. For me, you have to add coconut milk in your rasta pasta. Gotta do it. Oh yeah, and right now my stove is on low, okay? You don't want to rush this, you want to take your time because you don't want it to separate. So nice, slow, and low. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of the Parmesan cheese, half a cup of the um, cheddar blend. I'm going to add a little jerk seasoning, okay? Now we're going to mix this slowly. Yeah, this smells amazing. So you guys, I have my penne pasta here going. All right. Slow and low, y'all. You guys see how that cheese is melting? Oh, it smells so good. So pretty much our sauce is done. I'm gonna, well, I'm waiting on the pasta to get done. Once the pasta gets done, we're gonna go ahead and incorporate it. See how nice and thick this is? Look at that. See that? Nice and thick, nice and rich. It's not runny. See that? Bomb. If you want yours thinner, add more milk or coconut milk. If you want it thicker, add a, you know, stir in some more cheese. 
just play with it until you get the consistency you want. Look at that. This right here is perfect. Can I see that? Look. Bomb. And cheesy. It's gonna be so good. So yeah, I wanted to come back and show you this sauce. I've I've turned my oven to like low, just the warming setting, just as I wait for the pasta. And look at this consistency, y'all. Y'all see that? Definitely coats the spoon. Perfect. Okay. Y'all, I don't know why people still buying jarred Alfredo. So theoretically, this Rasta pasta is like a jerk Alfredo, okay? But y'all, look at this homemade Alfredo sauce. Nice and silky, full of flavor, garlicky, full of that jerk seasoning, the wet and the dry. Just so good, all right? Yum. And it smells so good. All right, you guys, so our pasta is finally done. I'm gonna go ahead and add the pasta to the sauce. This right here is two cups of penne pasta. It's not a whole box, not even half, because this is just like gonna be for me for now and later. So yeah, I know I like to season every step. I'm gonna season a little tiny bit of jerk seasoning, a little bit of my seasoning, a link in bio. Okay, this stuff is amazing. Uh, this is the perfect ratio. Oh, y'all, look at this. Look at this. What? Look at that. Man. All right, now let's add the shrimp and the veggies. Save a few of your shrimp for garnish. Mm, pour that sauce in there too, y'all. That's flavor. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this rasta pasta. What? Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is done, y'all. Okay, this is done. Bomb. What? Mm, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Y'all see that? What? It's not dry, nice and saucy. This is perfect. Okay, you guys, here is our plate. Let's add our garnishes. So I'm gonna add a few peppers just to have the, you know, Rasta pasta, Rasta colors. I took out four shrimp. Just gonna add this to the top. Even though, as you can see, I already put a bunch of shrimp. Come on now. Can't have too much. Well, you can, but this is definitely ain't too much. Next, we got our scallions we saved. Okay. Now we're going to finish this off with some more of that shredded parmesan. A little tiny bit of the jerk seasoning. Not a lot, just a little. Look at that. And there you go. All right, you guys, so here is my shrimp rasta pasta made with coconut milk, okay? I feel like that's the best way to do it. It came out beautifully. Look at this homemade sauce. Y'all see how nice and rich that is? OMG, okay? You guys, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to go pick up my seasoning. Link in the description box, okay? It's so good. Y'all, oh, look at this. Make this. When you do tag me, Snapchat, Instagram, DM me. I want to see how yours come out. You can make this with chicken. You can make this with fish. You can make this with whatever. You can make it without any protein in it. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Bye, guys. Oh, my gosh. Come here, shrimp. Come here. Come, come here. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa, don't slip up or get caught. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one.